This video is sponsored by Squarespace. It's 2022 and still the peak of piano content on YouTube is someone playing a piece with the notes falling down. Looking like flames, glitter, sparks. So I can't believe that no one has ever attempted to do these sparks in real life on a regular grandma piano. So let's change that. Let's plug in the piano into the wall and make the forbidden electric piano. But there's one tiny problem. I've never worked with electricity before, so let's hope I don't accidentally turn my piano chair into an electric chair. Like, should I worry about it? Yes, you should. <laughs> well, it, it, especially since you will be plugging into high voltage, right? It is very dangerous, actually. <laughs> In your bathroom, do you have those outlets that ground fault protection kind of outlets? So for example, if you accidentally touch the live and get electrocuted, the outlet opens right away so that you don't get hurt too much. <laughs> so I need to do this video in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can buy the outlet itself. The first thing that came to mind was those flying swatters. It was really the only thing I knew could make a spark that I also happened to have nearby. When the hammer hits, we want it to, to spark. One problem we have is that a piano hammer is made out of felt and that that's, doesn't conduct electricity, I think. Let's try. No. But I actually have a piano that has steel hammers. So we will find out now if this will work. Oh, maybe this is enough. Yeah, it wasn't enough. Once you make one, you want the next one to be bigger and eventually you end up like this. Have you ever wondered what a million volts looks like? <laughs> this would be so cool. Let's turn this on. Oh my god, it worked! Does it work on the other strings? This video will not be that hard, I think. I was wrong. I bought this hammer action model, which is basically like one key on the piano. It's quite random. It can't shock me, right? <gasps> Okay, it's not warm. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a coward. Of how you would do it to like not make it lame. Well, I mean, probably you want the largest sparks when you're playing. Disposable cameras, right? They develop yeah. the photo and they throw the camera into garbage. Good. So you can go there and just pick it up for free. There is a flash capacitor in there. If every one of your keys has one capacitor, then you can charge them all. So that way, when you play three of them at the same time, all of them still yeah, that would be nice. But it's it's a much more elaborate project for you, I guess. And be careful with these, because when you charge them, you accidentally touch them, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> ah. Oh, my oh eyes! My God. <laughs> this one, this one was a stronger. <laughs> <That laughs> to contact one of those photo labs. And they sent me 300 for free. Okay, let's discharge it. Oh no, that's the... <laughs> Where's the capacitor? I don't understand anything that's going on here. Oh! That was a, that was very loud. Ooh. This is the closest simulation we're going to get to the piano. Let's go. Yes, yes. Oh, that's, that's such a good spark. So one major concern we have is that the strings are going to take too much damage and break. But I love this prototype thing because we can actually test it without doing it on the piano. About 100 strikes later, you can see that the strings are getting some damage from this. We are basically eating away the metal on the strings with the sparks. But I kind of don't want to ruin this piano. So I tried wrapping a layer of copper tape around the strings. As Whoa! Yeah, we burnt through the tape. To take the magnet from this like tool magnet thingy, I would insert spikes so that they would absorb the, the spark. And, but there's one problem. The thing is magnetic and the hammers is out of steel. <laughs> By the end of this video, this piano might burn down. So let's listen to the hammer piano maybe one final time. Uh, by the way, I've been taking uh, piano lessons, so maybe I don't suck now. <laughs> Damn it. If you want to buy this piano as a virtual instrument, use code ENGINEER15 to get 15% off. Link in the description. Oh my god, I found the good stuff. The thing we used before is a fun saver. This is the power flash. Up here. But these uh, things, 
what is it, capacitors, they are actually quite expensive. I think they are like four dollars or something. And if we need like 300, that, that could be very expensive. But now it's free. We just need like one week of labor and, and yeah. This one is twice as strong as the other ones. <laughs> ah. My ear. Let's continue with the last few. I kind of regret painting these hammers because we don't have a good electrical connection because of it. Yeah. Yeah, my gluing really isn't good. I thought it was better than this. Oh, <laughs> not falling off when I played before. Oh my. One is good. Great, more work. Now we have to put on them again. Yeah, but now they're too short. Oh my god, I didn't drill a single one straight. I'm not even sure if this will function. I've inhaled so many glues now. It actually turned out pretty good. Finally! It's time to do the wiring. You know that hammer model we had before? This is like someone took that model and just, it's like a computer virus on your screen, copy pasting it 88 times, and then you have a piano. Recently, and look, that's so satisfying. <laughs> the hammer heads has holes, so we just put it through the hole, and then we can bend these out. So now you can cut yourself, you can shock yourself. Three hours later and I'm done with 20%. Freak yes. It always surprises me just how long everything takes to do when you do it at a scale. Doing it one time is very easy. So you think that, oh, it would take like five minutes to do this. But in reality, it's like two days. That's, that's a lot of cables. You know, it's like we're preparing for a war against the piano and <laughs> You're looking kind of nervous. And done. The circuit boards would sit like this, I think. That's that's kind of close to my hands, I realized. Yeah, that's a problem for future me. I'm starting to think that making a one and a half meter circuit board isn't like the best first time electronics project. I don't even know how to solder. The safest way to work with electricity is to have someone else do the testing for you. Uh, so that's why I hired a mechatronics engineer, Goran, to help me throughout the rest of the project. So what I'm proposing is the diode uh, food rejectifier. Uh, let's bump it up just for security reasons to 10 uh, times per second. So over 120 times minus 6. 73 degrees right now. Just one thing. Do not touch resistors on this circuit. Damn it, I don't know how to read this stuff. This is so tricky. I, I'm kind of interested to feel how bad it actually is to touch these. Yeah, on a lower charge, of course. Then I regret everything. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, that was not how I expected it to feel. That was kind of nice in a way. I worked on this the entire day. These are the biggest resistors I've ever seen. Okay, now I soldered everything except the wire. Full bridge rectifier. <laughs> I am I am done with one of three, and it looks it doesn't look bad. We're going to plug this directly into the wall. Like there's nothing between this and like the wires that go out. Okay, I guess it's some stuff. Goran says brown is live. It doesn't matter in which one. I think. I'm going to be far away, that's for sure. Well, uh, I'm going to need the gloves. The okay. skateboard, let's do it. It's on. Okay, nothing happened. Let's take it out. <laughs> this is going to be so much worse on the actual piano. It's so quiet. Okay, are you ready? What? Oh my God. I didn't plug in the wire. Did you know? Uh, whoa! Ow! I, I got deaf. Damn it, I need two hands. The one hand rule is so inconvenient. <laughs> I literally jumped. <laughs> we done that. Honestly, the, it's not that big. It worked. It, I have, I, it has 
never worked the first time ever when I done it. Wow, that's epic. If I bought enough board, this, it would take a week to get it. So that's why I'm thinking, what if we cut off the excess from both of these boards? That's so close. And glue them together. It's good enough for sure. We're getting really close now. This is like the final hundred components. And I think these are supposed to last you like a year. I kind of don't want this to end. Soldering is actually quite fun, but maybe that's the fumes talking. This is all the soldering I've done my entire life. And you can actually see where I started. You see how much I struggled here? But as we go up the board, like the days passes and we end up where it kind of looks, I think it looks good. Yeah, I will put it here. That should, or maybe up here, I don't know. I'm gradually cutting down the cables because I'm so worried that I will cut off too much and then I have to redo them. After this, the cable management on my desk is not going to seem very frightening. Nah. This is great news. We only have to connect the piano up here and we still have an electrical connection to the string the furthest apart. We are so close now. I can feel that. Let's hope I don't feel the piano when we turn it on. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It's just plug and play. I think this is the most beautiful thing I have ever seen. Natural selection speedrun starts now. Where's the gloves? <sighs> sure, we haven't even tested the other end of it. One button away, let's do it. Okay, it's on. Okay, let's start slowly. We just... Uh... Oh, oh my... Did you see how good that looked? Oh, they are so aesthetic. Oh shit. Why did it do that? Oh my god! You see? I don't know why. I do kind of want to play it. It didn't well before. <laughs> Damn it, I can't play with these gloves. That's the famous last words from me. Ah, they weld. Okay, this is probably not a good idea, but I want to turn off the lights and see what it looks like. It looks like I've soldered everything correctly somehow. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh. This is so disappointing. Ah, it's the base section. I feel like we can improve on this a bit. Why is that one so loud? Did I put the... Is that a power flash? What? Uh-oh. <laughs> it smells like burnt wood. Maybe we are burning wood. <laughs> okay, check this. Ooh. Oh, the resistor is glowing. I can hear it sizzle. Maybe this is a fire hazard. Huh. I wonder what the resistor burning actually means for us. Seems normal. I mean, not normal, but like, y you get what I mean. Round two. I talked with Discord and they told me to put on graphite from a pencil. I also put copper tape on some of the hammers. Ooh, that for sure did not work. Oh, maybe the tape one works though. Hmm, it stopped working entirely. I found this 20 year old copper paste laying around and apparently it's used to stop metal to metal welding. So it doesn't seem to weld. Whoa! And the bang is so much bigger. We can, if, if we apply that to all... It didn't stick, but that was loud. Okay, I need ear protection. It doesn't stick though. Okay, that's kind of interesting because if we get more spark, eventually we don't even hear the piano. So it's kind of hard to, you know, I'm not sure what we value. I guess at this point, it's probably a bigger spark.
Okay, I barely hear what the piano plays. You can actually like play it for long and no issues. That's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, don't listen, I will warm up. Uh, I'm done with a project. Oh, the new video. Yeah, do you know what it is? It's another E piano. Really? Electric piano. I, I actually have it behind me if you, you want to see it. I'm not sure if this will get views though, because it's not that, you know, but I just kind of wanted to make this. Just need to plug it in. <laughs> now everything explodes. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh! oh, no. <laughs> you were right. No. Wait. No, 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 be careful. I think, uh, do I want to, uh, I should, I should not touch it, right? No, no. Oh my god! I would be quite shocked if I forgot to discharge any of them now. So we're going to double up the capacitors and that means double the poof. Actually, now when I think about... No. Why start thinking now? I really thought I had discharged all of them. I mean, now I have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to test the, the doubled up capacitors. Let's plug in the piano. <laughs> Whoa! Sounds weird. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, now we're talking. Nice. Where is the fire? This should be quite epic. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty insane. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can't even hear what I play, to be honest. I will give you a different angle. Oh shit, 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 shit. Ah! Resistor is burning. Wait, no, 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 you're, I'm, <laughs> you're not supposed to blow on it. Now I'm igniting it. Okay, we need to check how it would look if a pro pianist played this. Oh, ah. I want to try the iconic angle, you know, from these those videos. <laughs> I do a piano lesson. The first chord we have to play is a C major. I'm sorry, but I can't, I can't hear what I play. I, it's so hard. Whoa. Ah, yeah, the tuning on that one.
Okay, now we really need to look away. Whoa! I watched, I looked. Damn it! Okay, let's go. Yeah. That's enough. So I found this thing that basically allows us to connect the piano to a car battery. So we can take the piano like out in the woods and play it in the middle of the night. That would be kind of cool. Instead of just being in this Squarespace, which is the sponsor of this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. You can just pick any of all the website templates and start working on your own website tonight. Uh, we can sell our own woodwork DIY projects. That would be fun. All the wood is definitely ethically sourced. It's very customizable, but at the same time, it's so easy to use. Imagine the dumbest person you know. Anyway, it took me like 10 minutes to finish your website. If you're a graphic designer, you can have a portfolio website. If you're a content creator, some of your content can be behind the paywall and you can get rich quick without the scheme part. You need online appointment scheduling. You can get all of this with Squarespace. You can start playing around with these templates like whenever you want. You can just go to squarespace.com, but when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I didn't think you would have to do this, but please save my Discord. It's dying. I haven't posted in six months. And if you have really bad video ideas, uh, let me know. I will read the comments and uh, look for you.